Hey my Pisces, this is Tara Bay here with Flirty Savage Spirit and we're going to get into your partner towards you starting off by my oracle cards, the relationship oracle which is available on my site flirtysavage.com. First card out we have Dreams, could be dealing with the Pisces that's here, break up, this is like a I think this card that came out for like all of the water signs, the breakup card. And then intuition is also here. Two cards about following your intuition or your spirit guides trying to connect with you in regards to this situation. Um, text and then engaged is also here. Can you see that? Okay. So right off the bat, the first thing that I get here is that some some of you guys got a text message um about a situation that you already had a dream about or your intuition kind of like made you feel as though this is but you wasn't sure but then some kind of way a text message or some type of communication came in to confirm the fact that they are indeed involved engaged with somebody actually actually engaged to somebody but have like another relationship that they were keeping hidden under the moon here, you know, that there was some deception that was here. And some of you guys are wishing that you would have trusted your intuition when it first was telling you like something ain't right. Like, why does this dude always have his phone on? Do not disturb. Like, why does he always say, you know, hey, I'm gonna call you or she um, it's like, yo, I'm gonna call you back when I get out the house. Like, you know, you they can only talk during set hours. It's like that intuition was kind of telling you that something wasn't right. But at the same time, you were willing to kind of go along with the flow because, you know, it was something that you wanted. You know, you was wanting to believe what this person was telling you. It was nice getting to know them. You really liked them. You you probably even felt like that you guys had like a real soulmate-ish type of like energy that's going on here. But now you're regretting actually giving this situation the time of day because there were red flags from the initial uh, beginning Pisces. I just said, could be dealing with a Pisces with the dream card and you are Pisces, but could be dealing with another Pisces, right? Um... But something where, and some of the other guys, if it wasn't like an actual third person involved, someone is just, you know, trusting their intuition at this moment to be able to walk away from a situation. And someone could walk away from this situation by texting someone else. Um, also get someone could be lying to somebody saying that they're engaged. So someone to leave them alone, uh, like the cuckoo that, that, that you met at the 7-Eleven and you are trusting your intuition to say something ain't right with this fool. So, you know, you're trying to text and tell them whatever, like, you know, hey, I do have a boo. Um, so that's why I have to cut ties with you. And I don't want to just block you, but can you go on about your business this type of situation? It's going on here. Okay, so show us more about Pisces partner towards them. Show me Pisces partner. Towards them. Show me Pisces partner towards them. So we have Hermit card, the Virgo card, going within. That's that dreams and that intuition too. Like trying to align your chakras and align yourself to make sure that what you are feeling is what you are feeling. Uh, Ten of Swords is in reverse. So it's like a slight betrayal. Maybe not really. Like your intuition is telling you that some type of betrayal is here. Some type of stabbing in the back is here trying to get exactly what it is, what it is, what it ain't. I also feel like there's some gossip and some lies that's there too. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. So this was definitely probably something that was so you initially, when you first began it, you thought that it was going to stand the test of time. It was going to offer you some type of stability in this situation. Yeah, four of ones is in reverse here. So with this Ace of Pentacles and the four of ones, it's like maybe that's what you didn't get fully stabbed in the back because you were still developing this connection with this person. Um, or you're developing this this with this person, but it's also getting ready to come to a halt, um, a surprising, unexpected kind of like halt, um, uh, an ending of the celebration of the Ace of Pentacles, of like the new beginning of stability that's here. Yeah, Sun card in reverse, the Leo card. So, 
also just kind of get like someone could be finding out that that their son is not their son like literally like a child like a child is not theirs and even though you know you're invested in the situation it still is like unexpected like wait what like you know like and that's like kind of the betrayal of the gossip perhaps that's been going on and you finally follow the intuition to actually go and get the dna test or someone that's involved in this situation finally decide to go and get the dna te test test um and that changes the dynamic of what's going on here hmm show me more about this ten of swords in reverse show me more about this ten of swords that's in reverse here let's see so temperance sagittarius card here peace patience resolution um of something that was not working together three with this three of pentacles could be a third party ace of swords is in reverse some lying some withholding withholding of um the truth is here and then the world card a conclusion or a natural end to a cycle also representing the fixed signs and then five of pentacles is here too but coming back home hmm so i think like with this ten of swords being in reverse it's meaning like especially with this 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 world card for some of you guys i'm getting that some type of cycle is ending between you and the person but it may not be ending the overall relationship. So you could be going from having a breakup, trusting your intuition to walk away. But, you know, as another way to read this is, you know, following your dreams and your intuition here to walk away from a person. But it's saying that you guys are going to, you know, reconvene communication and it could possibly lead to an engagement in the future. Or if they are currently coming back after you have broken up, they're coming back with something more stable. Because the five of pentacles in reverse, it's like you're coming back home after some type of cycle ended or some type of travel. Someone could have moved away from your area and now they're moving back and wanting to provide some type of balance back to you guys' situation by giving this, giving this situation another try. yeah i just feel like like while you guys are broken up there's a lot of you know soul searching and soul enlightenment spiritual enlightenment that's going on that if for when some of you guys uh reconcile reunite with each other is going to be a beautiful thing because it's you know the work has been done the necessary conclusion to other cycles in your life or between you guys have ended so you guys come back in a better space to be able to work things out together let's get some little ratchet details this is getting all spiritual and you know come to come to the altar <laughs> i'll love you baby let's see let's use my other uh oracle deck the love oracle deck the flirty savage oracle deck and see did we get any um flirty savage news any ratchet news that's here workplace romance uh you could work in this environment could also i'm getting the presence that some of you guys could have been out of the office um so you went to work from home like during covid but in the beginning of january or february y'all go back into the office so that could be like the ending of a cycle and you guys coming back together because then you'll be able to see your boo every day especially if they are a water sign um and checking your social media someone is definitely checking up on you could possibly even be sending you a dm that says that you're so sexy um that's here pisces this is so cute um baby saying it i just instantly felt like they may be checking your social media thinking you sexy but then see a, a picture that's a little bit too sexy and it's like um sir put your chest up okay like that ain't it what we ain't gonna be doing is for you having my people everybody to see my goods that them right there my nipples 
them my nipples, sir. Put them up. Like, no. <laughs> um, but definitely someone here is definitely thinking that the other person or both of you guys could be thinking each other are some hottie batatis, you know. Um, and I get that they really miss you. Like, they, they can't wait to, like, see you, embrace you, to be around you, to feel on you, feel on your nipples. I don't know. <laughs> you know, have some adult time uh, with you. And that may lead to a baby. Let's see. What final messages do we have for Pisces partner to them before we get up out of here? What the messages does Pisces partner need to say to Pisces? So we have six of swords wanting to move away from troubled waters um, and salvage things with this tower. So your person definitely wants to work out any kinks, any arguments, any breakup, any just whatever that's no longer serving you guys. They are wanting to resolve this, and it seems like they want to resolve it now. Um, Ace of Wands and the Fool both are showing up here. Could be representing an Aquarius, so either a fire sign. So it's like, you know, they're saying basically they want to move away from the sadness. It was a false ending between you guys. Somebody was impulsive, was um you know or impulsive with the ending of something that may have just begun or, or had just started getting good between you guys but it seemed like that they ran because they wasn't sure of themselves or of what they actually wanted or they didn't have much faith in this connection um they were definitely a younger person either younger emotionally actually in age or spiritually that's here so it kind of cause them to not be ready or to kind of like self-sabotage that's what i'm trying to say self-sabotage this situation but they don't want to be single anymore um they're ready to charge towards you with some sexy energy this can be a little bit of a playboy energy so for some of you guys you even when they return you may have to bear with them just a little bit of trying to figure out how to be dealing with a gemini um for them to make choices in the right manner so I'm going to leave all of this on the altar right here for you, my Pisces. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a like for me so I can get in your rotation. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next read.